and not being, you know, rowdy and unruly. Not purloining, which means you're not a thief. You know, the number one kind of theft that's happening in these stores and places today is employee theft. The employees steal more product from these stores than people coming in shoplifting. So it says not purloining. That's what that word means. That means you're not a thief. But showing all good fidelity, meaning you're being faithful, that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior in all things, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. I'm going to stop right there as far as that chapter. That the grace of God, meaning we're saved by God's grace. It is unmerited favor. It's also the empowerment that God has given us to be sanctified and live it holy before him so that we may be acceptable on, by him through the blood of Christ in the day of judgment. Like I said yesterday, when you stand before God, you better make sure that all the sins you've committed have been confessed and that they're washed under the blood because when the books are open, the devil's going to try to acute, you know, find everything you've ever done in your past and use it against you. But if you have confessed your sins and your sins have been covered under the blood of Jesus and you have repented of your sins, when the devil turns those pages, he'll see there will be nothing there but blood that Jesus shed to cover, to cleanse you from all of your unrighteousness. Amen. I want the blood of Jesus Christ covering and washing away my sins so that my name would be in the book of life. Because the devil, which is the accuser, is going to, he's always accusing you before God. But when you are a child of God and you've been redeemed, there's nothing he can do but be angry. Ain't nobody mad but the devil when you give your heart to Christ. And he's trying to get you to go back. So he'll cause people to hurt you. He'll cause people to turn their back on you or stab you in the back. Or, you know, the devil causes these things to happen because he don't want you trusting anybody. He wants you to give up on the, the rest of the world, and he wants you to give up on God. But guess what? A true believer will never turn their back on Jesus, no matter what the devil causes to happen to them. Amen? Because God said, the Bible says, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth us out of them all. So there's nothing the devil can do or call somebody to do to you that can take your name out of the book of life and stop God from blessing you. Amen. All you got to do is be faithful and God will bless you and take care of you. I thank you for your time this afternoon and earlier this morning in the worship. I ask that God will strengthen you and keep you and that these words may stay with you throughout your days that you may remember that the word of God is quick and powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. So the word of God is what we need for life, how to live, how to react to the rest of the world around us, how to love our families, our wives, our children, how to love other people who are, who are believers in Christ, and mostly, for the saving of our souls, the word of God has come that we may be saved from the destruction that's coming upon the wicked. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for giving me the breath and the ability to preach the gospel. I pray that your spirit will continue to help me to speak beyond my physical capacities and limitations that you will help me to continue to in love, share the truth of the gospel, that those that hear it may be able to follow it and to be able to live by this precious gospel. May you protect us. May you give us traveling mercies. Will you help us in our relationships with other people? May you help us to forgive those who have hurt us in any way and help us to forgive ourselves, Lord, for the things we've done that we know we ought not to have done. Please cleanse us from our sins, forgive us of our sins, help us to walk 
in grace and not in condemnation and help us to walk with the conviction of the truth in our hearts that we may allow you to purify us and shape us and prepare us that you may call us home to be with you forevermore and that we may see people that we love and care about very dearly as well as people we don't know in the kingdom of God because they repented of their sins because they watched our life and they knew that the God we serve in fact is God and that Jesus Christ is indeed the Messiah and Savior of the world and that the Holy Ghost indeed is the comforter and our counselor and that the three, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. So we serve the true and living God. May we be witnesses of the truth of the gospel all the days of our lives in jesus name amen, amen. god bless you you are dismissed go in his grace and praise the lord